Music and hi there, welcome to the Sexperts. I am your host, Dr. John T. Elanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Hayder, Ruther B. Hayes impersonator. <laughs> God, I didn't see that one coming. Uh, you gotta talk to me about that at, at some point. Not now, though, because we gotta introduce who we are. We are the Sexperts. We have been sexperting for over 50 years between the two of us. Um, we've been uh, in the communities, we've been in lecture halls, universities, old people homes. Sometimes we sexpert apart, but nothing is better than when we sexpert at the very same time. <laughs> sex is natural, sex is fun. Sexperting sex is, is better. When it's one. On. One. <laughs> Bam. Oh, my God. Um, we're coming to you live uh, every week with a different topic from a different location. Um, I'm going to introduce the topic in a little bit. It's one that I've held on to in my heart for a long time. I've been encouraging you as yeah. your friend and colleague. I know. To let go. Yeah. But uh, you've held tight. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, I, w- I do want to say that we're currently, if you hear a lot of like screaming, hooting, hollering, we're on the campus of James Madison University. Home of the fighting Dukes. <laughs> Duking it out. PC Dukes. <laughs> uh, yeah, my sister went to college there, uh, so shout I'm a, out. I'm a huge lady, like, women's basketball fan. Yeah. Nothing I like better than a good Lady Dukes game. Oh, nothing. I'm a fan of the ladies in general. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the ladies. Lady Dukes. <laughs> lady Dukes. PC Dukes. All right. Look at that girl with the Lady Dukes on. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel a little weird because I'm a little bit older than the crowd here. They're mostly college age. I'm mostly not. I think we look young. I think we're fitting in just fine on these lime scooters. <laughs> yeah, be careful. You, you already almost twisted your ankle. That's all right. I got another one. <laughs> all right. Well, let's introduce our topic of the day. I don't want to get too chatty here at James Madison Knee. I almost want to drum roll this one. Uh-oh. Here we go. All right. Our topic of the day is dialing zero on the pink telephone. Bam. Dialing zero on the pink telephone, which is a euphemism for tickling your clit. So if you have a pink telephone, the zero is at the top there, right where the clit I'm is, just fellas. Thousands of our listeners going, that's what it meant. <laughs> oh my God, I had no idea. It's so nice that he explained it right away. Yes, and we're going to explain more of it in just a little bit. I do want to get our, our guest in, and uh, I want him to talk about the dial-in zero on the pink telephone. Hey there, welcome. Oh, hello. Hey, uh, why don't you introduce yourself to our audience out there? Well, uh, my name is uh, Brooks T. Sullivan. I'm, Rook, uh, Rooks? Brooks. Brooks. Brooks T. Sullivan. Brooks T. Sullivan, Sullivan. yes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm a survival expert. Oh, nice. And uh, I've been doing a lot of freelancing work. Oh, uh, cool. Going around to uh, a lot of the colleges, mm. state colleges, talking to kids. Just uh, public universities, not <laughs> private. Um, yeah, no. Uh, those kids, they can buy their way out. Uh, <laughs> they can buy their way out of anything <laughs> these days. Seriously. Like yeah. a DUI. I, I don't know. Some murder. of those kids are there on scholarship, and they don't have... Like families that can get them out of trouble, <laughs> but most of them can, and that's why I'm focusing on here. Uh, that makes sense. What kinds of jams do you help people out of? Uh, well, I mean, let me tell you that uh, it all, it's all inspired from a uh, 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 almost life death experience that I had. Uh, talk, talk about that, about, yeah, uh, yeah, several years ago. What happened? Uh, what happened? Uh, well, I was. Uh, you know, just hiking in the Shenandoah. Yeah, and, as one does. Well, I got lost. Yeah, and uh, a lot of trees. I uh, was out there for seven days. And Sometimes you can't see the trees. <laughs> For you the forest. Throw, yeah. Uh, that's what kept going through my mind. That's the only thing that got me through. And yeah. I passed out, and uh, that's when I uh, saw my Lord and Savior, uh, Bear Grylls, come to me <laughs> in a vision. And uh, he helped me guide my way out. And uh, that's when I knew I wanted to dedicate my life yeah. to following his teachings and helping people get out of uh, messy situations. Yeah, I've, I've been following you for a little bit, and I wanted to get you on the show because, like, you kind of did that moment was like a 180 like your previous life you were completely different like you were kind of like some of these kids here you knew shit like no and and i went into every situation without mm-hmm. a plan uh, <laughs> i just let the wind take me and um, that was the wrong way of living well, you were the bassist in a jam band like I, where was that gonna go I, that's the thing i i was just making it up as i went and i mean <laughs> it was a, a very lonely life um i, was the, I was watched a lot of, of his uh youtube videos yeah yeah, yeah. and i I think it's right there. Like it's, 
you know, there's a show called Naked and Afraid. What's that about? People that are put out in the woods and mm. they have to survive without any clothes, but they're freaking out. That's based on my experience. Well, you're show, like though. naked, but not afraid of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, I was back then. And that's why I'm trying to help people. That's okay. awesome. That's why I want to put them in the same situation that I went through. <laughs> and if you can get through yeah. being naked and afraid. Naked and afraid. Yep. I think you can get through anything in life. Damn. I've never been afraid while naked. It's like my most confident. <laughs> well, um, you've already passed step one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would have, so what, it, walk us through kind of a broad strokes. I know you don't want to give away a lot of your secrets, but broad strokes, the keys to survival. So be naked is kind of a big one. You're, you're. Well, and that helps. I mean, uh, you know, it takes a lot of the excess. And yeah. I think that you really connect with nature more. It kind of gets uh, back to your uh, your roots. You know, I, yeah. I try to follow the, uh, go back to the roots of nomadic living. I don't yeah. stay in one place more than nine months. Oh, uh, so I wait, around. that's enough to have a baby. Right. Uh, <laughs> I think step two is be not afraid. Well, or what? <laughs> Ruthard be not afraid. <laughs> wait, is that your voice that you use? For that's Ru- my Ruthard B. Hayes. <laughs> You know, I was thinking about uh, pitching Jesus. a show where I do celebrity uh, naked and afraid, and uh, I'd love oh, to wow. have uh, Rutherford B. Hayes on there. I would love to do it once I'm done doing the sorority house I'm doing tonight here at JMU. Wait, Rutherford B. Hey, girls. <laughs> You're on. You're the pilot episode. I put it on my calendar. <laughs> You, you might need so a plan good. to get out of there. They might get pretty uh, serious, those sorority parties. Pretty hairy. There. Pretty hairy situation. Are you sure you're going to be able to get out of there that night? I'm going to be naked and not afraid. That's how I go to every sorority party. <laughs> yeah, you're a brave soul. Ooh, speaking of sorority party, uh, I want to get your opinion on uh, dialing zero on the pink telephone, because that's our topic of the day. Well, now, you know, I also uh, yeah. help people in urban situations. You know, I once got lost in a department store. Oh, um, my God. Yeah. Wait, which so, department? Like a big one, like Macy's? It was a Macy's. Had it been yeah. recently remodeled, because that can fuck a person up. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, well, it's like what the I... shoe department was always here, and there's no shoes now. Well... <laughs> You know, even though there were tons of clothes, I stripped down naked and uh, I searched. <laughs> I searched for the uh, the highest clearance rack mm-hmm. and uh, built a fire on top of it. And uh, after three days, security came and found me. Yeah. Now that's hey, what I call a fire sale. Found mm-hmm. you safe and secure and yeah. not afraid. No, uh, a fire sale. Oh, I see what you're doing okay. there. Yeah. All right. No, but I, I'm really concerned these days about like how cheaply things are made and then just thrown away. So of course you would you know, burn the clearance rack because like they 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 force little kids and sorry to get a soapbox here, but you've heard me you know rant about this, Delilah. Um, they force little tiny children to make these clothes for like two cents an hour, and then they just sell them for like twenty bucks. And then it's like, well, if you don't want to give twenty bucks, sure, like two bucks, it's not cool. What you know, are your thoughts on that? Well, that's actually my next step after I leave JMU. I'm heading. Uh I'm heading east. and um, Oh, the far I'm, east. Oh, the far east, yes. Uh, I'm trying to uh, uh, help some kids out. Uh, I know they're in the, some pretty tough situations mm-hmm. in those sweatshops. Yeah. And I'm gonna, <laughs> wow, uh, you are a philanthropist. No, I'm, I mean, I've got a whole uh, yeah. nine-step program to help them uh, bust out of there. And I'm, I'm really uh, leading a, uh, a, crusade? A, a crusade or exodus, <laughs> if you will. You, I don't know. I get this image of you as like a 1930s like explorer, like hero, like Indiana Jones. Where like I can see the movie poster now. Brooks T. Sullivan is the sweatshop savior, and like you're naked with a bunch of children behind you, like busting out of a, like a work camp. You know, there was a lot of controversy when uh, Indiana Jones came out because we really think it's a romanticized version of what we do in the survival world. Oh. I was thinking Johnny Appledick. <laughs> what? Johnny Appledick. Wasn't Johnny Appleseed and so many mm-hmm. kids followed around? No. <laughs> he was a lonely guy. Johnny Appleseed, he, he went across the nation. You're thinking of, um, you're, you're, con- you're conflating the Pied Piper with... The Pied Piper. Wasn't he the Pied Piper? Johnny Appleseed? I don't think... I think he had a pipe. I think Johnny Appleseed He was one of Appleseed. the pioneers of our industry. And they shot an apple off his head, right? <laughs> you're conflating a lot, Mr. Mr. Hayes. <laughs> well, all this is... All this is after my time. <laughs> You know, I was alive in the 1800s, and we didn't have movie pictures. We only had hand-me-down stories, and maybe my mama handed it down wrong. You know how they have uh, on um, on public radio, they have the Thomas Jefferson Hour, where uh, the we guy are, pretends to be Thomas Jefferson? We are in talks. <laughs> the Rutherford B. Rutherford B. Hayes half hour, because nobody cares enough for an hour. Sponsored by Ford. You can't spell Rutherford. <laughs> 
without Ford. Oh God, who do you look to? Who do you look up to? Other than Ruffo Thorbord. <laughs> you shut the fuck up now. <laughs> well, I, uh, I've i committed my life to the teachings of Bear Grylls, my lord and savior. Oh, He's the one who right. uh, turned me Is on. Is it B-A-R-E? Uh, B-A... No, no, it's, it's like... Brrr, brrr. Correct. Yeah. Oh, I That's thought it was the from the Naked and Afraid bar. Now, when you say that he appeared to you when in that incident in, 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 the, in the forest, he didn't literally come. He was like a vision? A vision. Have you ever actually met Bear Grylls? And he didn't actually lead you out. He helped you lead yourself. Right. Which uh, and that's uh, one of the teachings. Is hard uh, to wrap your mind around because if you're leading, you don't really need help. <laughs> well, if I... Good point. <laughs> you nailed it. If I just do everything for people, then they're yeah. not going to learn how to get themselves out of situations. I agree. So I, I try to help uh, set the groundwork. So I uh, bring people out in the woods and abandon them. So if, if and then they have to find their way out. So if you were to find a child who had lost his parents in a department mm. store or a mall... Oh, yeah, good. How would you... Help without helping. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, first of all, you need to be aware of your surroundings. What type of resources can you use? You know, I, in my case, I was in a department store, so I used the clearance rack. But maybe he's, maybe he's at a, a water park. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of flotation devices that mm-hmm. he can build a, a high tower and uh, try to get a signal out. Um, See, uh, I would have. That's creative. I, like that. I would have just let him use my phone. You know, I think. Uh, <laughs> It's too easy. You know, maybe that phone isn't always going to be around. And if it's yeah. a water park, I mean, who's to say that phone hasn't died already because right. it's water damage? Because water damage. A lot of phones these days aren't just waterproof. Saying, you have to think of every scenario when you're in the survival business. Yeah. And you have to teach people how to, you know, like you said, survive. It's like you give a, you give a mouse a cookie, he'll we'll learn to bake cookies. Or how, uh, you fish, fishermen's wife. I think you're wife. conflating some, several <laughs> stories. You know what I mean. I mean this guy, uh, you know, Brooks, Brooks here. What is that name, by the way? Brooks. You get that from somewhere? Well, I, uh, it's my um, spirit name, uh, my survival oh. name. Um, I was born um, Gary. Gary. Yeah, Gary. Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson. Um, Wait, you but changed you don't, your meet dying a lot name? Of, don't meet a lot of Garys now. <laughs> no, in fact, uh, <laughs> and then, like, it's at a career low right now. Uh, and, and then, I, the and number we went down meet, after I changed my name. And we finally meet one, and yeah, and he's not even going by oh, Gary. Man. Well, it just doesn't seem very survival esque. So. R.I.P. Garys. Yeah, I mean, Gary, listen, Gary would be the type of guy who would die in the woods. Brooks <laughs> Brooks is the guy who's going to make it out, all right? If Gary Hart hadn't banged that chick in the <laughs> boat and he'd made it to be president, would have inspired a whole new generation of Garys. Did you ever think about that, Mr. Hart? You know what name is on the rise? Delilah. Male Delilah's is going up and up and up. I think I, because of you. You know what else is going to be going on the rise when what? I sign my NPR contract? <laughs> what? Rutherford. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Rutherford was a, a man, right? Yeah. But why? So, what's short for R- Rutherford? What's how do you shorten that? Is it Ford? Root. Root. It's almost like it's a Ruth. You know, like a, a, a woman's name, Ruth. Uh, I happen to know that <laughs> if you called Rutherford B. Hayes, who is me, <laughs> R- Ruth, he'd have beat your ass. I don't think so. Oh yes, he would. <laughs> yes, he would. What a what a voice. Um, Rutherford B B stands for bitch. Ooh, speaking of bitch, uh, let's talk about our topic of the day, which is dialing zero on the pink telephone. You know, I'm thinking about actually entering mm-hmm. uh, one of these uh, reality shows. Uh, before, oh, uh, which know, one? Amazing Race or Survivor? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to think that uh, you know it, it was just a bunch of sellouts. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of mocking my industry. But uh, Amazing Race always sounded racist to me. <laughs> Yeah, I think didn't Hitler think he had the amazing race that yeah, like I'm would a, last for centuries? No thanks, Nazis. Yeah, flip the channel. Yep. Next. Yeah. Well, this is going to be the fourth Reich. Uh, it's gonna, <laughs> <laughs> the first three didn't go so well, but we've learned from those. I mean, it's like a new Star Wars. Going to have a new Reich every month. <laughs> Disney's going to buy it. Four oh. Reichs make a left. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what's uh, what kind of besides you know touring the nation? Uh, any big you know media projects? A movie? Anything in the works? A lot of uh, projects in development mm-hmm. right oh, now. Okay. So um, you know, I, I like I said, I, I used to think maybe reality shows like Survivor were kind mm-hmm. of sellouts, but I really think that it's a great way to get the message out. And, yeah, uh, you know, some people really need to set a good example of uh, the proper way. Mm. So uh, that um, maybe a couple screenplays in the works mm-hmm. at this time. Uh, just oh, really. and I think one of my favorites, the, the trailer's already, you have an animated feature coming out. I just saw the trailer. Right. Well, I'm trying to appeal to a younger audience. Yeah. Uh, because we really need to get the uh, mm-hmm. young kids um, up to speed on... They're in a, a lot. naked survival. <laughs> 
I mean, they're going through adolescence, and it's a very confusing time. Yeah. And I think if everybody's naked, then they'll be less embarrassed about the bodies mm-hmm. because they see everyone's. Body. I think if you uh, release that that movie to movie theaters, mm-hmm. you should hand a book to everyone as they walk in so they can cover up their tiny erections. <laughs> Is it a coloring book though, too? Any kind of any kind of book will do. Um, Biology, preferably. Well, this is actually a Sexperts um, uh, milestone. We will actually premiere the audio clip of the trailer of the Brooks T. Sullivan anime feature. So let's go ahead and hit it. I'm it starts play. with a voiceover, right? Yeah. Here we go. And play. In a forest far, far away, in the cold, dead, frigid winter, rises one man. With no clothes. I've got to drink my own urine if I'm going to make it out of this. Oh my god, I can't make it! Why? (laughs) Why are you putting me through this, Brooks? I can't survive! Coming this summer to a theater near you, the story of one man's survival with an obnoxious comedian. Listen, if we're going to make it out of here alive, you're going to have to do what I say. I can't do it, Jafar! (laughs) Gilbert Godfrey stars as Gilbert Godfrey. And the other guy stars as the other guy. All right. We're going to have to burn our clothes if we're going to start this fire. Strip down naked. And whatever you do, don't be afraid. Man, what you say? I don't think I can do that. I don't know if I can get naked in front of y'all. Also featuring Wanda Sykes. (laughs) I thought that was Chris Tucker. He's in it too. They were. Hey, they were can lost. you? <laughs> they were lost on a. They got lost on their day off. <laughs> I see it. It came to me in a vision. The way we're getting out of here. Everybody, <laughs> shave off your beards and your hair. Every pubic hair that you can find. We're making a rope. We're gonna scale down this mountain. Every- I'm I'm rather be hay. Rutherford B. Hayes, and this beard took me five years to grow. I am not shaving it off to save nobody. God damn it, man. Do you want to live or not? I don't really care. I've already been president. There's nothing else I need to accomplish. Rutherford, there's one thing that I want in this life is to get off this mountain, and there's only one way, and it's with you. Take my hand. That's the power of love. This summer at a theater near you, don't naked and erect. Don't need, fame. Don't need a credit card to ride this. Train. All right, and it trails off. Great. Oh wow, that's exciting. You got some star power. Okay, uh, Wanda Sykes, Gilbert Gottfried. I, I think Chris Tucker may have been in her. He has a that. small. There's a small cameo. Just a, like a real quick scene where he gets hit by a um, huge snowball and dies. <laughs> And then Rutherford B. It's a scrap for cash roll. Rutherford B. Hayes. I didn't know you were in that. Uh, yeah. Um, I play Rutherford B. Rutherford B. Oh, Hayes. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, the prosthetics made it look like they, like he was just uh, yeah. still alive. They're going to let me use those for the NPR radio show, but I really don't know why. We wanted to appeal to our much, much older <laughs> audience. <laughs> we thought, who's a iconic figure of that era? What that better than Gray Bush? <laughs> oh, my God. Silver uh, Bush. Well, um, let's see. Wow, why is there all of a sudden all kinds of people swarming around us? Anyway, uh, this is my lime scooter, bro. Okay, well, hey, bro, let's get to our bro. topic of the day, which is get your own lime zero. scooter, bro. Don't start a fight with. The, okay, oh god, oh they're starting to get violent. Oh my god, I'm starting to get, get afraid. I have, to, I have to ride this over to the Kappa Delta house. Oh my god! So the jam. Hey, each of you uh, take one of these torches. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> these students are afraid of fire. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to use a tiki torch on a college campus. <laughs> no, no. Do you no. want to make it out of here? Yeah, we got to make it out of here alive. Okay, listen to our listeners out here. We're going to end this. I'm so sorry we didn't get to the topic of the day, which is dialing zero on the pink telephone. We can probably chat about that a little bit later. I this think Rory. if we can maybe get that in the bonus features of the animated uh, <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for being on uh, oh, oh god oh there uh, my torch is on get fire. back get back this belongs in a museum okay listen uh, so anything you want to put out there any last minute words of wisdom plug anything uh, I think uh, just follow the ABCs of survival always be closing <laughs> and by that I mean always be closing in on your prey <laughs> without your clothes on okay uh, so that's it for the sex birds uh, I'm your host Dr. John T. Alanese SCPM and I'm Rutherford B. Hayes and what hates Mondays loves lasagna and succeeded me as president James A. Garfield <laughs> see you sex time
I say something? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do it over. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Not up to do it simply true. We're the sex birds. That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters. Bye bye.